Hey guys, welcome to week two in our Back to School Bonanza series. So because this is the first recipe video of the series, I thought it would make sense to start with the first meal of the day, breakfast. Now when you're off at college, do not get in the habit of just getting into one of those little food trucks and getting a coffee and a muffin before you head into class. That is not brain food. That is not gonna keep those wheels turning the way you need them to turn so that you can learn. Instead, you wanna really have something that's going to pack a powerful, nutritious punch. And I have just the thing for you. So to kick things off, we're gonna start with something that I have for breakfast every single morning, and that's my power smoothie. And to make a great smoothie, you need a great blender. So that leads me to this week's giveaway. Cuisinart has generously donated one of their fabulous compact portable blenders. I love this product. It is my new favorite thing, and let me show you why. First off, it has a 32 ounce blender jar for large batch blending. Then it has an eight ounce chopping cup for chopping and prepping items. It'll even crush ice. And the best part is it comes with these portable to-go cups, four of them for you and your roommates. So you can make your smoothie in these cups, pop the lid on, and off you go. So to enter the contest, all you have to do is leave me a comment below letting me know why you wanna win this blender. And I'll pick my favorite comment and award the winner. And remember, you have until October 7th to enter this contest in all my back to school giveaways. So if you have someone in your life that could really use this blender, be sure to pass along the video. That way, we will be able to increase our chances for lots of people to enter this contest for the chance to win this awesome prize. To make this smoothie, what you do is you take one of these to-go cups, you put a cup of frozen blueberries inside, one banana, about a third a cup of Greek yogurt, and a cup of milk. Then you take the blade assembly and you twist it on the cup, turn it upside down, put it in the blender, and hit high. And let that thing pulse for at least a minute or so, and you will see you will have one beautiful smoothie ready for you. Then you're gonna remove the blade assembly, pop on the to-go cup lid, and then you have a fabulous smoothie ready to head out the door. Now you actually don't need this fabulous blender to make this smoothie. This smoothie will work in any standard blender, but it is really nice, isn't it? So if you don't wanna wait around for the giveaway and you just wanna get one, I've put a link in the description of where you can buy it online. And because it comes with four to-go cups, it's the perfect thing to split with a couple of your roommates, and that way it wouldn't be that expensive. Now for those of you who would like a hot breakfast, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite egg pita pockets. But in fact, you could do the smoothie and the pita pocket and that would be a terrific breakfast. The first thing you're gonna do is take a whole wheat pita, slice it in half, and then fill it with some baby spinach. I love the raw baby spinach because it's packed with nutrients and vitamins and when we actually put our hot eggs on top, it's going to wilt that spinach down and just create a really yummy texture. Then we're quickly going to scramble up some eggs. And if you wanted to make this even healthier, you could just use egg whites. So I take two eggs with about a tablespoon of water. I find that the water makes a fluffier scrambled egg than milk or cream. Go ahead and whisk the eggs together. And then in a small pan, heat some butter and then pour in the egg. Go ahead and let it set and scramble it up with a spatula. And then the final step is just to add some salt and pepper. Then you're gonna spoon those eggs into your pita pocket then you're gonna to top with a little pepper jack cheese and your favorite hot sauce. I find that a great way to get a pep in your staff in the morning is to have something spicy. So you can either eat it just like this and sit down to a leisurely breakfast, or chances are, if you don't have the time, you can take the pita pocket, wrap it in some foil, the foil will keep it warm, and it's the perfect breakfast that you can eat on the run. So there you have it, two of my favorite quick and healthy breakfast ideas that can be accomplished in less than 10 minutes and will set you off on the right foot. I'll see you back here next week when we're going to tackle the healthy lunch. I'm gonna share with you five of my super sandwich combos and coordinating snacks that will help you reinvent that midtime meal. I'll see you then.